One of the ways that uh, we were able to accomplish what we accomplished in Walmart was we were a highly disciplined organization. And when I say that, I don't mean that we had a lot of rules and regulations, but rather we had a lot of guidelines to direct our people. And, um, and people knew and understood what those guidelines meant. And uh, one of our basic beliefs, so as a matter of fact, let me share with you, our three basic beliefs uh, were, number one, we respect every person, every individual. Number two, we're in business to satisfy our customers. Number three, we will continue to strive for excellence in all that we do. I think one of the important uh, reasons we were so successful in Walmart was that in many respects we were a disciplined organization. And when I say disciplined, I don't mean that were, there were a bunch of rules and regulations people had to live by. Rather, uh, we operated more on the basis of principles. Uh, what are the basic principles? What is the outcome we're striving, uh, striving to achieve? What, um, uh, what means are we going to use uh, to accomplish our objectives? Always looking for better ways to do things. Uh, one of the ways we accomplished this discipline within the organization uh, was uh, our regional vice presidents from all over the country lived in Northwest Arkansas. They flew out every Monday morning and flew back home every Thursday evening. They were out in the field. They were out with their people, the area, the region that they were responsible for. And on Friday morning, we would all get together and all the officers and all of our regional vice presidents would get together. And they would uh, uh, talk about all the things that went on during the week, what they saw good, what they saw bad, and all the rest of it. We would then have our merchandise people visit with our operating people and have meetings on that. And then on Saturday morning, after our Saturday morning meeting, every single regional vice president would get on the phone and talk to his 10 or 12 uh, district managers. Say, here's what the program is. Uh, here's some changes that we're going to make. We'd like these to be made by Monday morning. All of the district managers would call the store managers. So this network went out on Saturday morning where we were giving directions about a change, something we wanted to emphasize, something we wanted to maybe de-emphasize and so forth. And we really expected the people to operate in such a mode that they got it done right away. And so there was this close tie uh, with, uh, with uh, what senior leadership was thinking about. Another thing we did is that regional vice, uh, that the uh, senior officers, all senior officers of Walmart, traveled in the stores one to three days a week. The CFO, the head of real estate, uh, yes, the president, the CEO, we always, tra and so therefore we were in touch with our people out there and we were observing, you know, how well are they doing their job? And it wasn't a matter that it had to be translated through a lot of people, but we were there firsthand and we saw it. Now, if you tie this idea of discipline together with people who are committed and people who believe in what they're doing and they believe in the organization, uh, the discipline is much easier than if you've got a bunch of people who aren't caring people, who are not excited about being part of this winner. Uh, another way to look at it would be instead of calling it just discipline, maybe you look at it from the standpoint of calling it execution. And when we would observe our competitors, one of the places that they really fell down was at the point of execution. They had great ideas, they had great plans, but they couldn't get it executed at the, at the store level in the retail business. So I don't know, uh, that's kind of my view about discipline, but it was an important part of getting the, getting the job done. As the organization grew and grew, it became even more important. It was also more important that people understood what the values were as we got larger and larger. You know, it had to go filter through more and more people. So it was really important that it that we paint a clear picture in all of our people's minds about what we were doing and what we were trying to accomplish and what our vision was.